Mastering Geometry Terms Boost Your Math Vocabulary Hello everyone! Welcome back to our English Language Learning Series. Today, we'll be focusing on a very special topic, Geometry Terms. This is a part of our Academic Vocabulary Series where we enhance our English language skills specifically for academic and professional environments. If you're a student, researcher, teacher, or just someone who's interested in mathematics, then this video will be incredibly useful for you. Let's start by discussing some basic geometry terms. Point, a location in space. It has no size, only position. Line, an infinite set of points extending in two directions. It has length but no breadth. Plane, a flat, two-dimensional surface that extends infinitely far. Angle, formed by two rays with the same endpoint. Circle, a set of all points in a plane that are a given distance from a given point. Moving on, let's discuss some common figures and shapes in geometry. Triangle, a polygon with three edges and three vertices. Rectangle, a quadrilateral with four right angles. Square, a special rectangle where all four sides are of equal length. Polygon, a plane figure that is described by a finite number of straight line segments connected to form a closed polygonal chain or circuit. Now, let's dive into some advanced geometry terms. Parallel lines. Lines in a plane which do not meet. That is, two lines in a plane that do not intersect at any point are said to be parallel. Perpendicular lines. Lines that intersect at a right, 90 degree, angle. Radius. A line segment from the center of a circle to any point on the circle. Diameter. A line segment passing through the center of a circle and touching both edges. It is twice the radius. Chord. A line segment joining two points on a curve. Tangent. A line that touches a curve at a point without crossing over. There you go, you've now expanded your vocabulary with a number of fundamental and advanced geometry terms. It's important to remember that language learning is a continuous process. So, keep practicing, keep using these terms, and you'll master them in no time. Thanks for joining us today and we hope this video has been helpful. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos to enhance your English language learning journey. See you next time!